Is the new album from Italian rockers Maniskin Rush worth a listen? Let's find out. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Nick here with you. Welcome back to the Rock Squad channel and welcome to my rock album review for the third studio album from Italian rockers Maniskin. It's called Rush. Before we get to it guys, if you love to rock as much as we do, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos here on the Rock Squad channel. Make sure to like this video, we'd appreciate that. And make sure to share this video with your friends and fellow rock fans. Rush is the follow-up to their debut record, Il Ballo della Vita, and their uh, their sophomore record, Teatro Dira Volume 1. And Maniskin is one of the uh, the most hyped-up rock bands on the planet right now. They sold over, over 40 million copies. Uh, they won the Eurovision Song Contest in 2017, which launched their career uh, to larger international stardom. Uh, and uh, the cool thing about them is that they're an Italian rock band. I'm Italian by heritage, uh, and they're an Italian rock band making it on the international scene, especially in the rock world. When you think of big rock bands, they come from places like obviously the US, the UK, Canada, Australia, and you know a lot of metal bands and stuff like that come from come from Europe and, and places like that. So you don't really see Italian rock bands make it on the world stage. Uh, I've actually been to Italy and toured in Italy with my band. It was a very, very cool experience. Italian rock fans are very passionate. They're very into their music. They kind of have this this weird thing that when you go see them see a band live, they don't really uh, engage for the first little bit. They kind of stand back. And if they like your band, uh, then they will move forward towards the stage. And that's a sign that they approve of the uh, of the music that you're playing. So that's always a, that's always a good sign. Uh, but uh, yeah, you never see Italian bands make it on the international stage, and it's very cool to see that Maniskin is breaking out of their Italian roots. And Maniskin are one of the most hyped up rock bands uh, on the planet right now. They've really, really uh, made a dent in the rock world over the last couple of years. Now, personally, I haven't quite uh, latched on to Maniskin yet. I've heard a couple of their singles, but this is the first time I've listened to a Maniskin album front to back, and I'm happy to say they kind of made me a fan. Now, Man of Skin is a band that is tailor-made for the Spotify generation because every song on Rush is snappy, it's catchy, the production is crisp and punchy, which is what I look for in a, in a great rock record. And your results may vary depending on how much Man of Skin you've listened to in the past. Like I said, this is my first time listening to a, a full Man of Skin record. And there are some there are some peaks and valleys in quality uh, throughout the record, but they, they did a really good job producing this album with Max Martin, of all people, who is uh, one of those uh, pop producers from the 90s who were with the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC, but he knows how to make uh, catchy music, whether it be pop or rock, and so Maniskin have definitely tapped into that uh, on this uh, on this record. Like I was saying, it's crisp, it's punchy, there's lots of stuff going on, and I was actually finding myself really enjoying some of the mid-tempo ballad songs more than the rock songs on this record. Now, another thing that Maniskin do on Rush is they wear their influences on their sleeve. There were quite a few times when I was listening to this record where I was wondering, what, what band does this sound like? They're definitely channeling a bunch of different bands, particularly if you're a fan of 2000s rock from 2000 to 2009. They channel that uh, very well. So I, I definitely heard some killers on here. I heard The Strokes. I heard Muse. I heard uh, Bring Me the Horizon, although not as heavy as those guys. are. It definitely a Bring Me the Horizon uh, influence. I heard a lot of Arctic Monkeys on here. And it's not surprising because looking back into Maniskin's discography, uh, they've done Killers covers uh, in the past on their records, so obviously they wear their influences on their sleeve, and even though these are Italiano rockers, they definitely love uh, their 2000s American and Brit rock. So getting back to the songs on this record, uh, as I was saying, it's a mix of upbeat, up-tempo rock songs and mid-tempo and ballad -y kind of songs, and I was finding myself really, really enjoying the slower tempo songs a little bit more than the rock songs, not to say there aren't a lot of bangers on this album, because uh, there is just to kind of run down some of my favorite tracks on this record, uh, Time Zone, I thought that was awesome. A great vocal from uh, lead singer Damiano David. It's a very Italiano name, but that's okay because my name is Nicolo, so I can call out Italians when I see them. Uh, Own My Own Mind, a Gossip featuring Tom Morello. If you have Tom Morello of Rage and Audio Slave uh, playing on your record, you know you're doing something right. So good on uh, Maniskin for securing that collaboration. Uh, Feel was a great song. It's a dance floor song. Gets asses shaking. Uh, there is a lot of dance worthy songs on Rush so if you love your rock with a little bit of uh, a little bit of shimmy and a little bit of shake in your ass and uh, Maniskin do that very well one of my favorite tracks on this album was called Gasoline I thought that was a great track I love the vibe love the chorus love the gang vocals channeling a little bit of Bring Me the Horizon on there and a little bit more experimental than some of the other tracks on on Rush and I also enjoyed Supermodel which is another great song and this really is just filled with tons of great singles and by far, my favorite song on Rush is The Loneliest, one of the first singles that was released uh, from the record. 
I really like the slow tempo ballad -y songs that they've been putting on this record. I really enjoy Loneliest. It's got a great vocal on it. It's super catchy and it's very well written. So I think the Loneliest is by far my favorite track on this uh, Man of Skin record. Of course, there are some dips in quality on this album. It's not all gold. There are some uh, some tracks that are not as quite as good as the rest of the record. Uh, blah, 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 I thought was the worst track on the record. Definite filler on that song. Did not really like that. Don't want to sleep. Uh, just kind of came and went. Read your diary, same kind of deal. Uh, uh, cool Kids, I felt was a really weak track, and Mamma Mia, even though they're channeling their inner Italian, uh, Mamma Mia, I thought was one of the uh, the weaker tracks on the record. There are some Italian songs on this record. Most of it is in English, so they're still appealing to their old school Italian fans while uh, trying to gain new fans uh, internationally. Other good songs on this, uh, L.A. Fine was really good, Mark Chapman, which was a reference to the man who killed John Lennon, one of the songs uh, sung in Italian, If Not For You, another great uh, ballad on this uh, on this album. So even though there are some weak tracks on Rush, I feel for the most part this is a really strong record. I think the biggest win for me with Man of Skin's Rush is that I wasn't a fan of these guys really going into listening to this record. I'd heard some of their previous singles. I thought they might be slightly overhyped. Uh, I didn't think that their, uh, their music might be as good as their presentation and the image that they present because they're a very slick looking band uh, but this is a great record it's a great rock record it's a great uh, Italian rock record it's just great rock in general and it's cool to see a young band like uh, Maniskin out of out of Italy my my brethren my brothers and sisters my Italian brothers and sisters making it on the international stage and I do think that uh, Rush is a solid record and they've turned me into a fan I was not a Maniskin fan going into this album but coming out of listening to Rush uh, I am definitely a Maniskin fan and I will definitely Definitely be listening to this a little bit more. My critiques for the record, like I said, with 17 songs, it's a little bit too long and there are going to be dips in quality. I really feel like they could have condensed this album into a 10 or 11 or 12 song album and had a much stronger track list and maybe release the rest of it on a deluxe edition or something like that. 17 songs, quite a bit for a, for a Man of Skin, but uh, there are some really great songs on this album. Great ballad band, which is something that I didn't expect because they're known for doing more of that 2000s uh, rock for channeling the killers and Arctic Monkeys. But there are some great ballads on this album that I really enjoyed. And so I'm a, I'm a Maniskin fan. Who would have thought? Eh? So I'm going to give the new album from Maniskin called Rush, I'm going to give it a solid 3 out of 5. Maniskin is a very talented and hardworking band, tailor-made for the uh, the Spotify generation. It's a long album, but it's a very enjoyable album, and they've made a fan out of me. Uh, let me know what you think of the new album from Maniskin in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Make sure to like this video. We'd appreciate that. Make sure to share it with your friends and fellow rock fans, and make sure to subscribe to us here on the Rock Squad channel so you don't miss out on any future videos where we talk about everything rock. Follow us on social media at Rock Squad Pod on Twitter and Instagram, and check out my band, Full Fools Union, if you like Foo Fighters and Weezer and Oasis, uh, Black Crows, if you like a good rock, you'll like us, you can check us out at FoolsUnion.com. But that is going to be it for me. We'll see you guys again for another video here on the Rock Squad channel. Until then, rock on, everybody.